Okay, so this this uh, video is going to cover uh, 7.9 to 7.11 of Fundamentals of English Grammar. Um, it's going to be covering the uh, some of the modals that are included there. So the first set of modals that we want to talk about are modals of necessity. What we mean by necessity is that something is necessary or that is needed um, or needs to be done. We have three different modals of necessity, have to, have got to, and must. Um, we'll notice that some of them are used the same way, um, but there's a slight difference in the meaning when you use them. So let's look first at, at have to. We'll see that there's three usages of have to. The first one is when something is necessary, the second one is in questions, and the third one is in negatives. Um, and when it's used in negatives, it means that something is not necessary rather than it is necessary. So we'll notice that with when we use have to for something is necessary, that's the most common usage of it. So we could say, I have to study tonight. So that's going to be the most common way that you're going to hear and that you should use um, uh, when you want to express that something is necessary. Have to can also be used in a question. Now we'll notice here that we don't use have as the helping verb. We actually have to bring in the helping verb do for both the question and for the negative. So the question is, do we have to bring pencils to the test? Not have we to bring pencils to the test? Okay, so that is so again when we're using this have, we still need to use do um, as our helping verb. In the negative, again, it means something is not necessary, so we could say, I don't have to study uh, tonight, meaning that it is not a requirement. There's no need for me to study tonight. So moving on to the next one, we have have got to, and we'll notice that with have got to, we only have one usage, and that usage is when something is necessary. This is the informal usage. Um, have to would be uh, the more formal of the two. Um, so we can say the same thing, I have got to study tonight, but we don't use it in a question. We don't, use, we don't say, do we have got to bring pencils to the test? And we don't use it in a negative, I uh, don't have got to study tonight. So it's just used in affirmative sentences in an informal manner. If it makes it easier for you in terms of usage um, for yourself, you can just avoid using have got to. You just know that when you hear it or when you read it, that it means the same thing as a have to. So must is the third type, and must is different than um, have to or have got to in that it, it is generally more formal and more strict. One of the problems that a lot of ESL students have is that they overuse must, and they don't understand that when they use must, they're including an, an additional meaning besides necessity. So for example, um, the first usage of must is when something is necessary. Well, notice that this is only used in written instructions. So the example is you must um, use a number to pencil on the exam. This is a rule um, or an instruction for an exam. We wouldn't say, I must study tonight. Uh, people will understand you but it has an additional meaning of, of uh, extreme formality that's uncommon in, in, spoken, um, in spoken English. Um, uh, it can also mean that something is necessary in terms of a rule. So all passengers must present their passports at customs upon arrival. So this is a rule um, for, um, for the passengers. So again, we could say all passengers have to present their passports on, on arrival at, at, at customs, but it doesn't have the strength of must. Must um, sounds like something that cannot be, um, cannot be ignored, whereas have to has more of a sense of something that you can choose to follow or not. So uh, another meaning is something is necessary, meaning it's a strong command. So Tommy, you must hold on to the railing when you go down the stairs. Must is often used when a parent is talking to a child. So is not saying, because when you say have to, again, it has the sense that this is something that's possibly optional. But when you say must, it has the sense of you don't have a choice. It's something that you have to follow. 
Uh, we'll notice that must can also be used in the negative, like have to, but we'll notice that it's not used as a question. So in a negative, what it means is again a rule, but specifically a prohibition. So you mustn't smoke in here, which means that this is, um, is a rule um, that, that is not allowed. So if we say you don't have to smoke in here, what that means is that it's not necessary, but not that it's prohibited, not that it's not allowed. So take a second here and pause the video and write down um, a sentence for each one of these following usages. And then uh, have the video go and I'll show you the ones that I have written down. All right, so the first one here is Rob has to study for a test. So this, pardon me, this is a, um, um, a necessity. Uh, I have got to, I've got to remember to call my friends, okay? So again, this is a necessity, but more informal. You must wear your seatbelt when driving, okay? So this is a rule, um, a, a rule. Uh, you must not go above the speed limit. This is a prohibition. You're not allowed to do something. And the last one here is, do we have to go on a hike? So remember, have to is the only one that can be used in a question. So moving on to um, modals of conclusion. When we talk about conclusions, a conclusion is um, an inference or an idea that you get from information that is presented to you. So a conclusion is something that is not stated, but is something that you come to from the information that has been pre presented. So there's two types of conclusions we can talk about. Um, a, um, a, a conclusion, a logical conclusion, or a negative logical conclusion. The difference between these two is, is just in terms of, of one is affirmative and one is negative. So Nancy is yawning. <sighs> she must be tired, right? So we're using the information that we see in that she's yawning and we're making the conclusion um, that she is tired. So we're taking one piece of information and we're making an inference to come up with a, a conclusion. A negative logical conclusion is, the, is in some ways the opposite. Nancy didn't eat her food, she mustn't be hungry. So we're taking the information that's there, that Nancy didn't eat anything, um, and making the conclusion that she must not be, uh, must not be hungry, or she mustn't be hungry. So let's take a, take a second here, and again, and pause the video, and write a sentence for each of these following usages. And then uh, restart the video, and I'll show you my answers. So here's, there's this one. Jennifer is laughing. She must be happy. Um, I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking. Uh, so she's, she's laughing. We're taking the information that she's laughing and the conclusion that we make is that she's happy. The opposite of that is Jennifer's crying. She must not be happy. We're taking the information that she's crying and we're making the logical conclusion that she's not happy. Um, okay, uh, so here's a review of all of the uh, the things that we've covered um, in this chapter, the, sorry, in this, in this chapter, right? All of the mistakes here are related to modal. So the, the non-modal errors are not going to be things that you need to fix. So take a second and correct each one of these, um, and then we'll uh, take a look at the answers. So this is the first one. Sandra is late. She must be in traffic. This is a logical uh, a logical conclusion. I should have got to have to study tonight, but I'm not going to. Okay, this is about um, uh, necessity. We'll notice that we're not putting must here because must has that sense of a rule. What should I do? Okay. Uh, may, can, could I borrow your pen? Why isn't Greta in class? I don't know. He could, may, might be sick. Okay, um, and I believe there's one more. Um, our son could walk when he was uh, one year old. Okay, all right. Uh, so go over go over these sections. We will review this section um, before class on Monday. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can ask them to me there. Take care. Bye.